Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance, and that's Chris Daughters behind the camera. So we're going to run here as a little uh, tube system. We've got a Pro Tube, Nano, Junction Tube, all in the needle. We're going to slide on a drop weight, and what we're going to do here is we're going to tie a little Marabou Tube with some new stuff. <clears throat> Let's run into this real quick. What we've got here is a new lineup of Senyo products called Predator Wrap, and they come in an array of uh, different sheens and shades. Um, UV Pearl, UV Silver, Clear. Um, there's a, a Bard Predator Wrap um, that has Clear and UV in it. Take a look at them. Something worth uh, throwing into your tubes and mm -hmm. some of your intruders and stuff for winter steelhead. Um, let's jump into this tube and show you what it's all about. So we've got a uh, Pro tube in here with a medium drop weight. First thing I'm going to do is create a little center in the back for the fish to focus on when they come up from behind to grab it. And what I'm using here is UV polar chenille in a fuchsia color from Hairline. And then next, what I'm going to wrap over this is uh, my undercolor. I'm only going to do two colors of marabou in this particular tube. What I have here is um, the new Copic airbrush system using uh, Kingfisher Blue or Silver Doctor Blue, I can't remember which Marabou, and it's got uh, blue. You used Actually, the marker to I create. Used, yeah, the I used pattern. the marker. Yeah, I used the marker to spray that pattern on there. And it's actually, I'm using a bright purple on the blue. And it gives a little bit of variegation to the fly. Um, Something kind of cool to mess with. And then I'll just collar this marabou over here. So I've got a really hot center, a bright contrasting blue, and then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this UV freckled See, this is silver predator wrap from Senyo, and this stuff is really long, so you'll obviously be cutting this a bit. Just going to tie in the core here. And I'm just going to take one wrap. Is all of this? You could put two, but I'm going to put one wrap in there. And it's not tapered, so cutting it's no big deal. No, it's no big deal at all. No, it's a flush. blunt tip on all of them. So so I've got that in there now. What I'm going to do is pull this back to about where the marabou terminates and just cut it. So now you've got some flash added into that tube with some UV, some of the speckled silver. Looks pretty schnazzy. Um, I'm going to go completely crazy wild here. I'm going to put a hot pink and purple in here. Throw this at Silver's this next week. It looks like a steelhead would eat it too, though. Oh, definitely, definitely. It's a brighter fly. It'd be a great winter fly. And you can get, you know, crazy with these colors. Marabou as a collar is always fun to work with. You just gotta keep teasing it back, get it laid over. And then after we get this marabou in, that kind of slicked back. You could do guinea, but I just painted this beautiful feather, so let's um, let's use it. Let's put a little contrast on the front of the fly. So I'll just tie this collar style as well. So 
So I've got a little variegated white up front. That, that's going to be interesting in the water. And then next what I'm going to do is grab um, a little bit of super glue. This is actually zap a gap in the brush which is really the easiest for me to work with. And I just wrap that around there with the zap a gap on there and she's glued. Just cut it. And then I'm going to slide on a ultra cone on there, or turbo cone, excuse me. Ultrasonic disc. Ultrasonic disc. Jeez, I can't keep track of all the new names. Um, in a blue. And you've got a great steelhead fly or silver fly. You know, mix your colors and have fun with this. So I've got um, my fly all done. I'm going to take my uh, razor blade here and just cut straight down, just leaving a little amount of nib stick in there. And I'll just finish the fly by touching that a couple times and we're ready to go.